Zero to Webmaster founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger. We are back comparing political campaign websites. We're looking for the good websites, the bad websites, and figuring out what makes a site good so that if you are running for a political position, then your website should be as good as it can be to get as many votes as you can get. And right now we're going to focus on Nevada County Commission, Clark County Commission, District G. And we've got Jim Gibson, Billy Mitchell, and Jesse James Walsh. What we're going to do, we've put these into Google. I want to see because if I'm voting, I want to find their website. I'm going to put in the name of the location, what they're running for, and their name. I want to find their site. So this one comes right up, James B. Gibson, Clark County. But this is not his election campaign site. This looks like he's currently a politician. That's his official site. Let's see what he's got going on. Vote Jim Gibson, Clark County Commissioner, District G. I like it. Okay, it's got a uh, call to action right there. Vote Jim Gibson. It's easy to see. I like this vertical bar. Whatever those are called, they look good. And then we've got where he's running and what he's running for. That's what I want to see. And look at this. This is absolutely perfect right here the seo title and the seo description this is not just a jumble of words they actually thought about thought out what would be put right here google gives you about 160 characters okay so so far perfect i think this is going to be a really good site i can just tell already let's click through but meanwhile let's see what else is going on here all right billy mitchell all right, my name is Billy Mitchell, and I'm your voice as Nevada Clark County. So we know that's his site, but look, Billy Mitchell, there's got to be lots of Billy Mitchells out there, but there's only one who's running for this position. So his SEO title could and should be improved by putting what he's running for and where it's taking place right here so that we're certain immediately that that's his website. Click on through, and meanwhile, check out Jesse Welsh, okay, Ballotpedia, Nevada Independent, Review Journal, lots of websites that are not his, so he automatically loses or already lost my vote because he doesn't have his own website. Libertarian Party, as I've been seeing, Democrats and Republicans almost always have websites, and the people in the other parties or the independents, they have a high chance of not having a website, which could contribute to their high chance of losing these contests. All right, so here we go. Okay, Jim Gibson, he's got a face shot. Looks like a professional shot, and that must be Las Vegas. Not the best picture of, of suburbia back there. I don't know if I'd put that there. Kind of a strange background, but that's fine. Green and blue color scheme, not usual for politicians in the USA, but that's fine. That's it's, a, it's different. Uh, so let's see. He's got really big text, which is good. It's easy to find everything. All right, so we can meet him and read more. This is going to take us to his About page. We'll check that out in a second. Donate today. There's no pop-ups, which I like. I don't like pop-ups in my face. Some endorsements. They're scrolling left to right. little environmental endorsement there from Sierra Club. Contact us. All right, let's just click on through. All right, so it's a clean, modern-looking page. It's not, like, mind-blowing, but it's it's clean. It's good. And, all right, a good contact form there. This is the kind of site that, uh, as I said, we could tell it was good just by their SEO. I'm going to see what it was built with. This is a good-looking site. And... Let's see, WordPress, okay, that's what I was thinking. I didn't want to say it, what if I had been wrong, but it's a WordPress site, WP, Yoast leading, doing the SEO. This is a ninja form right here, and that's all we need to know right there. Oh, he's got Stripe, so that means I bet his donation page is built into his site. He's not using a third-party donation system, is my guess, and we can see or we already saw he's using Stripe, and we don't see the names of any other businesses here, such as Act Blue or whatever that one for the, the something red for Republicans was. This is good. I like this. He's got a real web developer, and they built a nice-looking donation page. And let's see. Yeah, I like that. He's keeping more of his money than anyone else. 
just about that we've looked at because all those third parties are taking more percentage of the donations than if he has a site built custom, which he does. So he's keeping a lot of that money. I like it. Let's see what his volunteer page is like. All right. Again, another form. Yeah, it's kind of, you don't need to put street address to street address to street address, street address. It's a lot of repetition there. Fine though. I will volunteer to best time to reach me. That's the first time we've seen that one questions or message. All right. That's cool. Nothing wrong with that. News. All right, so decent looking blog page. There's only two posts there, but at least they they look good. Let's see the about page. All right, three term mayor of Henderson. Highlights, accomplishments. It's all clean, the font's big, it's easy to read. Nothing wrong with any of that. All right, let's move on. The only thing that's missing is issues and pro uh, his priorities. It would be good to know what he stands for. He is running for um, county commission. So that's the only thing that I dislike about the site is the lack of an issues priority page. All right, Billy Mitchell, 6898. That should not be there. Billy Mitchell dot info. All right, I'm assuming it's hard to get a Billy Mitchell dot com, but he could have thought of something like Billy for commissioner. Not that big a deal. All right, let's see what else. Oh, there's a flag. There's no picture of him. I don't know who he is. Vote for him and donate. Vote or donate. He's got two different call to actions right here. That's not good. One or the other. Okay, vote for me. Learn about voting. Donate to my campaign. Donate, but don't mix them up. Who is Billy Mitchell? All right, he's an electrical engineer, problem solver, etc. That's cool. You got one total paragraph there. Okay, here we go. Issues. That's good. And there it is up there. Let's go ahead and check them out. All right, public. Okay. Public safety first. He supports job growth. I mean, there's nothing here. Look at that. Haven't seen anything like that. So good job on having a page, but you know, you can only write one sentence about what you believe in. All right. So not tuned to that. This looks good though. Get social. I mean, it's basic. We can see right here, powered by Rival. Not sure what that is. Maybe the people who made the site contact send us a message it's a bit too much of a flag here i don't need to have to shouldn't have to scroll down to see everything we don't need that much flag volunteer join the campaign all right again nothing special there what we've been seeing is that the politicians put very little time into the volunteer page they ought to say what you can do they ought to inspire you to take part and they also ought to, ought to allow you to say what you can do for them Let's check out the donate page. All right, that sent me to another site, Anadot. All right, same basic thing. We see third party. It's set up for a mobile phone. That's definitely not optimized for a normal computer. So I'm not too into that. Let's. We never checked out all of his home page. I don't think. Let's scroll down here. Yeah, that we did. Okay. All right. That is it. That is Nevada County Commissioner race. He doesn't even say what he's running for right here. Now, there it is. Real small as you scroll down. It should be up here. Big. What you're running for, who you are, your face, your name. Look, there's not even a name here. It's below the fold. All right, this is just a picture of a flag. You like flags, you're on the right site if you like flags. All right, I am Zero Webmaster founder, Dr. Kerry Krieger, and we will be back reviewing more candidates. These are real races going on in Nevada. There's 75 different politicians on the ballot, I've checked out all their websites. I'm going through them all again with you so that you can learn what is good on a website, what is bad on a website, and that you can avoid the errors that we're seeing with these politicians. I reviewed 75 political websites, and I'm going to teach you how to make a good political website and how to avoid having a bad political campaign website. All right, let's get into this. This is Nevada District Attorney, the DA race. We've got Timothy Treffinger up against Steve Wolfson. All right, so I put their names, their location, what they're running for into Google. We want to see if they have a website and what it looks like in the Google results. First off, this comes straight up, Treffinger for District Attorney. That's fine. I'd like to see the state you're in 
right there. I'd like to see your first name. No reason to hide it. You got plenty of space to work with right here. And this right here, this all right, SEO description. It's probably just here by chance, but at least it looks fine. It's an actual sentence. We can see it gets cut off because they did not obey the 160 uh, character or so limit imposed by Google. And let's check out Steve Wolfson. So he's got this big, um, what would you call this, a featured snippet showing up here, but that's not his site, that's Ballotpedia. So let's scroll down and we can see this is him, but it's a .gov site, so he's probably currently working in the government. That's his government page, but here's his re-election page, Steve Wolfson DA, kind of a weird looking website URL. Steve Wolfson for DA, re-elect Steve Wolfson, Wolfson for district. So it's got his name twice. It's not that well thought out an SEO title. What it needs to say is Steve Wolfson for district attorney, Nevada, something to that effect. And then SEO description was definitely not thought out at all. Thank you. And, you know, here's an address. Is it his? Who knows? But whatever it is, this is not well done right here. So let's check out their websites now. Go ahead and just set them both loading. Okay, he's got like some Olympic flame looking thing. It's kind of interesting. This is a bit blurry. It looks like a really bad, like the graphic design. It's, I don't know, it's interesting that he's got a kind of a logo, but this is an image that is too low resolution for its huge width here. So that doesn't look good. Got a headshot in the top above the fold. He's not really smiling. It looks professional, but he's not smiling. Background graphics right here. The red and blue don't really do anything. All right. Pick up a file and prosecute a case. He must be saying that that's him, whereas other people don't like to pick up files and prosecute cases. Not sure it's the best, you know, um, tagline or whatever you call it. Donate today. Look, there's no links up here. This is interesting. It's rare to find a website with no menu links. And that probably means there's not much else on the page. This website uses cookies. Okay. Not too into the pop-ups, but hey, that's the world we live in. About me. I'd rather see a photo of him. This looks like an event. I'd rather see a photo with some people. That's you by yourself. Show me a photo of you hanging out with a bunch of your fans. All right. So about me. It's all clean looking. It's easy to to read it's big big print that looks fine eight news now all right he was on the news all right well there's his issues right there so i guess that's fine he doesn't go into depth on anything but at least at least you can see right there what he cares about a lot of videos some endorsements they scroll left to right that's fine because i'm not a big fan of these endorsements so i don't need them taking up a ton of space so that's fine. They're nice and small. Donate today. That doesn't look good. And then it's a PayPal. I know this because that's, yeah, there it says it right there. PayPal. That's old school and it doesn't look good at all. That's like 2009 or something. And all right, November election. The date is approaching. Why not tell us the date? You want us to vote. Tell us the date. Contact me. All right. Email us to see how you can help on the campaign trail. Kind of a weird contact form. That's not a standard looking email form. Like, is this a form or are you giving me your address? Not too into that. There's a Facebook page right there. Why not have a little bit more social media? All right, so that's the whole site. Let's see what it was built with. GoDaddy CDN. GoDaddy website builder. Yeah, not not too impressed thus far with the GoDaddy sites that I've seen. Moving on. Now, this already looks better. This guy wins already in the website competition. I mean, that looks super professional. You look like a DA. You look like a lawyer at your desk. Got wood cabinets there. Got a phone right there. You're writing. And um, that, looks, that looks cool. I like that. Interesting colors up here. You got a logo. And... That's a lot more links than we're usually seeing. We'll check those out in a second. Let's see what this is built with WordPress. Okay, good. Hey, WordPress wins. WordPress beat GoDaddy by about 80 percentage points right there. All right, welcome to 
Welcome to Steve's campaign website. It's kind of third person. We appreciate your support. You can leave a message or make a donation star asterisk for Steve below. We're no longer accepting online donations. All right, too late, or they're not going to use them at this point. It's fine. At least they're clear on that. It's not the best looking form I've ever seen. Okay, messages from him. Again, with all these videos, I'd like to see, like, can you give me a title of the video? Can you give me one single sentence about what it is if I click there? Otherwise, I'm probably not going to click unless I'm just really interested in you. All right, Moms Demand Action. This this looks like a letter, like a picture of a letter, a testimonial. That's cool because one thing I've been thinking about after seeing these, all these is you got those endorsement pages like these with some logos of organizations, but there's really not that many testimonials like actual like this is what this person said those things should be easy if you are a, a candidate if you're anybody in business when someone says something really good about you like they emailed you about how much they like something that you did you should be collecting those testimonials and you should be adding them to your website newsletter social media etc all right let's see what's going on with these links here about all right big Big print, easy to read. I like that. Looks like this is a little gallery of some news clips. Everything's professional looking. Like, you know, is that a real photo? Probably not. They said, hey, hang out with some kids in a soccer ball and look like you're having fun. But that's fine. It looks good. All right, video. There's more videos. Video endorsements. So really, it's not just video. I don't need to click like, hey, I'd go to YouTube if I wanted to watch videos. Put endorsements here. Or look, you got an endorsements page. That's where the video endorsements go. Because you already have too many links anyway. It's kind of, you know, they fit, but it's a lot of links up there. All right, he's endorsed by. Go ahead, give me the name of the organization right here. You, you think I'm going to take the time to squint my eyes and look at this thing down here and click open to another page? Now, tell me the name of the organization right there in big print. It'll even be good for your SEO. Google will find that. And maybe someone at that organization will see it and end up here because of that. All right. So, all right. This part looks better. This is kind of standard political looking stuff. Put endorsements of, uh, you know, it looks like police type organizations. All right. Campaign activity. I'd call it news. Campaign activity could be a lot of different things. Really, it's not even news. Just photo gallery. And then this kind of weird Facebook thing ending up down here. Why put this here? Like, you can't even tell what it is. Why not just put a big F for Facebook and send people over to your page or your group? All right, here's a gallery. So why weren't all those photos in the gallery? All right, here's his friends. Okay, it looks fine, though. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. I just consolidate. Like, yeah. Endorsement video could have gone into endorsements campaign activity could have gone into the gallery then you'd have two less links there Smart reform. Okay, this is the first place we've been that's actually got the issues. I would have put this way over here Okay, not that in depth I mean if I were gonna build a website why not go in depth about what you believe in and what you're gonna do Volunteer, same as always. Uh, I mean, I guess maybe a little better. When are you available? What would you like to do? It's got a couple more choices than most of them have. And you can leave a comment. That's fine. Contact. All right, that looks fine. And finally, donate. You can do so by mail. All right, next time, Steve, hire someone to build a donate donation page in your site. Overall... Uh, that's a good looking site. Let's just take one more look at what it was built with, such as I'm curious what made those forms. The forms were not that interesting. All right, anyone, if you don't know, this is built with. This is a free extension for Chrome, built with technology profile. Let's see, see what some of the technology that's used on the websites. All right, that's all. So that is. Uh, Nevada DA race. I am zero to webmaster founder, Dr. Carrie Krieger. I've reviewed 75 political websites for this 2022 November election in Nevada. And I'm 
helping you learn how to make a good website or you don't even you don't have to make the website you don't have to be the website builder but you should know enough as a politician to tell your developer what you like and don't like and to see your own site and to be able to tell what's good and bad about it if you're a developer making sites for politicians this will help you make better sites for them i hope you found this helpful and I will see you soon with the next round of political campaign website showdown.